So one of the, um, what they call pre helpful preventative um, methods to control varroa mites, it's not to get rid of them, but to control them, is to use screen bottom boards. Most of this was found out, they think, because the, the feral hives that did survive, the one or two percent that survived the feral, they realized that when you've got a hive out in the wild, there's nothing under it to hold the mites. But now I've also read that mites, uh, that, that they've done studies and they're not sure it's inconclusive whether these things work or not. But the idea is, is that you've got bees living in the deep. This would be the deep in the frame and in their foundations. And they're living on top of this screen bottom board. And if a, and if a mite is crawling on a bee and it falls off, it's going to fall to the screen and fall through and be unable to get back in the hive. So if the mite can't get back in the hive, you've got less mites is the theory. So they do screen bottom boards. What it also does is provide a lot of ventilation to the hive. It used to be just a solid wood board and the bees produce a lot of heat. They need to stay at 93 degrees in, in the in, uh, year round. And so um, it gives them more ventilation and it actually helps them to survive. So the screen bottom board, it's more like they are in nature, it doesn't hurt them. And if it helps, you know, if it helps knock out a few mites, then let's do it. So all these hives I have here now have screen bottom boards. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this sifter. And we're going to put some powdered sugar in it. Then we're going to take, we're going to open up the hive and we're going to, we're going to sprinkle it on the different frames and it'll cause the bees to clean themselves and it'll pull the ticks off of them or the varroa mites off of them. And then if we do this properly and if there were mites, what's going to happen is, is I'm going to slide this plastic, uh, uh, cover under here and if the mites fall off they'll fall onto it and we'll be able to see them. But otherwise it's a screen bottom board and, and I won't be able to see if it had an effective effect or not. So one thing to note is this is a plastic cover off a tub that I had in my bee equipment area. Uh, I, I've changed all my bottom boards to screen bottom boards so I had to improvise. So being a pragmatic beekeeper that I am, you know, improvise. So here we go. Okay. okay, so I'm going to take some of this powdered sugar, no more than a cup, and I'm just guessing at how much is actually going to go in there, but that's a cup, and uh, set that aside, and then what I'm going to do here is we're going to start pulling off these frames, uh, these supers, and we're going to sprinkle the bees with the powdered sugar, and we'll see what drops off. So you'll see here we've got capped, uh, these are all, this is honey they're putting in here and this they've capped it off. Once it gets to, I think it's 17 or 18 or 20 percent uh, water content, that's when they seal it off and that low water content is what causes it to last for hundreds of years if not more. I mean it might crystallize but it'll still stay good. The other thing to note here is the pollen. Look at the different colors of pollen. If you see these cells right here where there's orange and kind of a light yellow. And that's what they bring in from the outside and they store it and then they mix it with the honey and they eat it. That's how they get their protein and their energy. So what I saw on the video was that you just sprinkle sugar on them and that causes them to clean themselves off and uh, apparently it annoys them too. <laughs> I think they'd be happy getting that kind of sugar. I wonder if they get a sugar rush. See that all that brood? That's a really good sign. You'll notice that this hive isn't near as strong as that other one. I came down here one time and I had shorts on. 
I had shorts and a t-shirt and I thought I could get in here real quick and uh, I thought I could get in here and I thought I could get this uh, this uh, Boardman feeder in the slot so I came down here when I tried to push it in it wouldn't go in and I had a bottle of sugar water and as soon as I tried to shove it in there I killed some bees and the sound became very onerous it just got really intense like it is now probably a little more and all of a sudden this little voice said run <laughs> and I went jumping over this thing and I started running up that hill and there were bees all over me and uh, I was laughing because I thought boy what a stupid thing I just did you know and I got about four or five stings I was all right but I'll tell you what you only try that once or at least I'm only going to so this is the first time I've done this bee sifting and there's three bees in there that are just completely covered with sugar and I feel bad for them and they'll eventually get it off of them but I'd like to get them out of there and on the road to recovery if I can. So I've noticed that this hive is swarming down below here. You can see a bubble of bees and basically it's um, doing real well. It's real strong. This is the time of season where They'll get a, a, a new queen for this hive. The old queen will join this swarm. It'll get to two, three pounds. And then it'll go off into the trees and they'll send out scout bees looking for the next home. And once they find that next home, they start all over again. And they start pulling out wax and start up with a whole new colony. Okay, well, since I improvised and they're all pretty irritated, I'm hoping I can get this tray back out of here now. It's not gonna be easy and they're not going to be cooperative. Okay, let's see if we've got mites. Here's a hive beetle that we shook off. That's a good thing. But I really don't see, what I see is a lot of um, sacks of uh, bee pollen that got knocked off in a couple of hive beetles, but I don't see any. Um, this is a hive beetle right here. And it's good to kill them and get them out too, but I don't really see any, uh, I don't see any mites. Okay, so we gave this hive a pretty good dusting and uh, pulled the tray out and took a look and we found a couple hive beetles, which isn't great and we'll treat for them, but from the Varroa mite standpoint, it doesn't look like this hive has the mites at all which is a good sign really for the rest of the hive since they've all commingled to some level at some point. So I guess we're good here. Um, I'll just check again in the fall and see if they've got them then and, and just keep working it until I get comfortable that I don't need to treat them at all. So uh, hopefully who's ever watching out there if you're doing bees, so let's see if you can get off on the, get rid of those pesticides and start doing treatments um, through uh, screen bottom boards and powdered sugar and see if we can't turn this thing around with losing bees.